For nearly a century, her hard knock life has captured the imagination of millions. And now little orphan Annie is returning <laughs> to the big screen for her biggest adventure yet. Yes. yes. Here to discuss his role in the new film adaptation of Annie is actor David Zayas. Welcome to Arise 360. Thank you for having me. David, thank you so much for being here. That's okay, so this is one of the most beloved mm -hmm. stories in mm -hmm. pop culture history. Why do you think it's remained so popular after all these years? And is this why you wanted to be a part of this project? Well, I mean, it's, I mean, and the story of Annie is, is timeless. Yes. And it could happen anywhere. And it it's could true. happen to anyone. And uh, I wanted to be a part of it because, you know, in, in my career, I never get to do anything that, like, my grandkids could see. <laughs> and this is probably one of the first things that I could actually take them to see and then uh, Yeah, and you're not okay taking them with. to see Dexter. No, no, no. no. Well, <laughs> that's that exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but, well. uh, y'all, no, this is a, such a wonderful story, and, and for it to take place in, you know, I mean, I, I'm born and raised in New York City, so mm -hmm. it, it was wonderful to film it here and, and, and be in the streets where I, I grew up and, and doing this great story was fantastic. And in perfect New York fashion, you're a bodega owner in the community uh, in this that, role. <laughs> Tell I, us more about your character and the special relationship you form with Annie. Well, I play Lou, who's a bodega owner across the street where Annie and the other foster kids live with, mm -hmm. with Miss Hannigan. And uh, I create a kind of a rapport with all the foster kids and especially uh, Annie, we become friends, and so I'm very concerned with what, what happens to her. And within the circumstances of the movie, I get involved to make sure that, you know, she, she's okay. Mm. Okay, so Quavangene plays Annie, Quavangene Cameron Annie. Diaz plays Miss Hannigan, mm -hmm. and Daddy Warbucks is played by Jamie Foxx. Yes. All right, yes. so let's take a look at a clip and then we'll discuss some more, okay? Okay. All right. Hey, baby, so I haven't seen you in here for a minute. To what do I owe this pleasure? Take it easy. How you doing? Not super awesome. You want me to make you a sandwich? Hey, how about if I make you a key? You ever do anything that you thought was really a good idea at the time, but then after, so you, you're not so sure? Yeah, putting up that key sign, I don't know the first thing about making keys. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. cute. So over the years, there have been a ton of adaptations mm -hmm. of the, the mm -hmm. Annie Classic. So what makes this one different? What are you bringing to the table that's new? What can we expect? Well, first of all, uh, they've updated it, especially the music. There's a, 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 a number of new songs, really great songs. Um, I think the whole like the ethnicity a part of it is is something that uh, is new and is interesting. Yeah, and, and he's black. Exactly, <laughs> and, and, and I think that that urban uh, take to it really is going to bring a whole new audience to it as well. And uh, it's, it's, it's really, and then using the streets of New York in a, in a unique manner, I think Will Gluck did a wonderful job in directing this and in, in showing the city uh, and how beautiful it is and how wonderful it could be for a lot of people. All right, all right. From a sweet movie to a twisted show, we got to talk about Dexter. Okay. <laughs> because you played Detective Angel for like eight seasons, right? Angel Batista, yeah, for wow. eight seasons. Was it hard to say goodbye to that character? It was, uh, particularly because um, that whole the crew and cast and and right, we were all like family, and you know, mm. we we created some very interesting characters, and it was it was hard to let go. But you know, everything you know must come to an end, and. Uh, mm. That was a great experience in, in my career, and, and uh, I had a great time. I made a lot of great friends, and, and, and uh, I'm looking forward to the next one. Right now, I'm doing Gotham on Fox, and yes. that's, that's another uh, interesting uh, project, and I'm really enjoying doing that. And a lot you're of playing great a bad guy, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm playing a mob boss. Oh, uh, mob one of the yeah, biggest Don bad guys Salvatore in the city. Maroney, yeah. which is... Uh, yeah, but, but you know what? He's a bad guy, but you know he's he's got character, so it's 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 a lot of fun to play. Yeah, really some good. sensitive moments in the show. Some sensitive moments, you know, and it's a really great. I mean, if you've seen the show, it's visually stunning, mm -hmm. and we have a lot of really great actors and great writers. It's just a whole great team. So, so what's more fun for you to play, the good guy or the bad guy? You know, I, I would say equally both, depending on what it is I'm doing mm -hmm. at the moment, yeah. and uh, you know. There's this this kind of something juicy to play in a bad guy, but this is also you wanna like dig in deep and, and, and find something in that good guy that you play to try and resonate for everybody, you know? And it's uh you know, I, I just I love just doing good work with good people. Now you know? is it true you actually used to be a cop? I was a police officer really? in New York in New York for fifteen years. For fifteen yeah. years? Well, yeah. how do you make that leap? 
You know, I've always wanted to be an actor, okay. you know, and, um, you know, but then life takes over and you put a hold to things and you have to live your life. And, but I, I found I was lucky enough to uh, realize that this is the time for me to do it. So, you know, around seven years into my police career, I started going to acting class and really? doing a lot of plays and being involved in the local TV shows in New York, like Law and Order and so mm -hmm. forth. And uh, I got, you know, lucky with some really good parts and, you know, uh, I just went on from there. So yeah. did people know that you were an actual police officer when you're auditioning for Law & Order in these shows? Some did. Sometimes and I... And they're like, that's not believable. And you're like, no, I do <laughs> no. this for a living. I can handle the gun, <laughs> I can right? You know, I, there, was a, there was a part of me that wanted to study hard and, and not you just go in there and see if I can get things on my own with what I, what I brought to it. You know, but you know, sometimes it would gravitate me to law enforcement roles, and mm -hmm. it helped me a lot to uh, to use my real life uh, experiences to bring into the uh, whether it was television or film. Wow. Well, wow. what's next in your real life? Maybe Annie on Broadway? Uh, <laughs> You've I, done theater? I don't know. <laughs> but, I mean, I've, I've, I love theater. I've done a lot uh -huh. of theater. I haven't done any musicals, but I've done a lot of theater. I've been on Broadway, and um, it's it's great. I would love. I I just love to work. Yeah. yeah. You know? Well, keep working because we love to watch your work. Yeah. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so I much for being here. <laughs> Happy holidays. Happy yes. holidays. Thank you. And you're watching Rise Entertainment 360.